My Iron Man has to follow the magic conch. The year is 2019. I had just started streaming RuneScape for the first time, and I wanted to be different. So my friend Billy Bulwark designed a program to automatically assign random RuneScape tasks for me to complete on a fresh account. He called it the Magic Conch. It's really fun! But sometimes the tasks are very difficult and take some serious ingenious planning to solve. In this video, we're going to receive some more tasks from the conch and do things that our account is not ready to do. Do the quest the Corsair Curse. I had never done the Corsair Curse before on any account when Conchi assigned it. You see, it was free-to-play content and I was a member so it was beneath me to participate in it. It was clear. The conch was trying to shake me, but I would prevail. The quest was going just fine up until I realized this quest had a boss fight, the Navigator. Suddenly, I needed some strategy. The most iconic moment in the first episode of the Magic Conch series was the long flinch fight I had against the Priest in Peril Temple Guardian. Flinching was easy and worked because the Temple Guardian uses melee and awards unaltered experience. The Navigator is different. The Navigator fights with magic, and I'm not good at this game, so he doesn't seem flinchable. The other factor is that the Navigator falls into a special class of NPC that gives very low experience rates, Training on him is not an option. My best flinch weapon is still the Steel Sword, which has about 7 DPY. That's damage per year. So I decided to try this fight out using magic. I just needed GP for runes and food. This Magic Conch account is extremely restricted, because I can't do anything that the Magic Conch hasn't told me to do. This means I can't level up off task or beat diary tasks before the Conch unlocks them for me. This makes earning money an issue, but I discovered a method for earning money on an Iron Man that didn't require any skills and could be done on a very low level account. Collect Super Antipoison from the Observatory spawn. Go to Musa Point, but be careful, don't take the boat back to Port Serum, because that's an easy diary task. By the way, don't pick any bananas either, because that's a diary task too. There was a brief moment where I considered picking bananas for money. Go here. There is a gold ore spawn surrounded by a horseshoe of gold rocks and guarded by poison scorpions. World hop to fill up your inventory, and sell them to the general store down here. Rinse and repeat. Eventually I had outfitted myself with an inventory of good food and runes for the fight, but I still had the question. Could I flinch the Navigator? The Navigator. We're gonna do a little bit of experimentation first. Looks like I'm gonna be able to fit right on this tile here, and we're gonna be see how he reacts to that. Here we go. Experimentation first. I'm gonna walk around the corner. He walks out. He walks. So, can we flinch? We're gonna click him. Guys, he might be flinchable. I didn't have to prepare at all. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to try to do a melee flinch. I can flinch him. I can melee flinch him. Before you leave, can you stand in the door and not get hit? Oh, okay. Stand, like, right here. Oh, my. Bad experiment. I think he can shoot around corners. All right, full plan, walk up the stairs, attack the navigator with magic, put him in the safe spot position, hit him with a two with the steel sword, and then start prey flicking magic. Now I'm not at full health. All right, I hit a two. Can I have something to eat? Yes. Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? Yes. Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? Yes. Oh. Oh. I did it. Oh. <laughs> You are awarded two quest points. Access to Corsair Cove facilities. Kanchi, what's my next task? Do the quest imp catcher. 
I know exactly where to go to find uh, the most imps. What's this, a wizard hat? A blue wizard hat, just like that. You have completed Imp Catcher Quest. Kanji, what would you like me to do next? Nothing. And we have successfully done nothing. Kanji, you feeling good? Yes. Good. Kanji, what is my next task? Train your attack for one level. <gasps> Guys, we finally got a skill to train. I don't think that we're allowed to, like, get the kill on him. We got the level. We got the level. Run away. All right, Kanji, what is next? What's the best thing for me to do now? Train your thieving for two levels. Oh, wonderful. We're stealing... Money bags right out of his gut. <laughs> this is weird. We did it! Magic conch, it's it's time. Are you ready to to uh give me a new a new task? I don't think so. Do you need some time? Yes. How much time? Do you need like 30 seconds? I don't think so. Ten seconds? No. Five seconds? I don't think so. Two seconds? Yes. Two seconds. Train your prayer for one level. This wouldn't be a problem if I didn't already have a whole bunch of prayer levels. Bones! Look at that. They're right here. There's a whole bunch of bones in here. Green bar getting close. A hey, level 12 prayer. There it is. Conch task complete. Lead me on. W what's next, Conchy? Do the quest, monk's friend. That is a good quest to do. Logs and a jug of water. This is so funny. Let's boogie. Whoop. Oh, baby. Do the quest, Gertrude's cat. Talk to Gertrude. Gertrude gives you a hug. This is the most romantic quest in the game. Seven quest points, just like that already. Are we ready to hear what our next task is? Uh, what do you want me to do next? Nothing. Ha! <laughs> So indeed, we did nothing for five minutes until it was time for our next task. Get 291 body runes. Whoa, that is kind of a bad task. So this is this is a collection task. This hasn't happened yet. The strat that I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be employing right now is buying them. And I don't have enough gold to do that right now. Price check, 144 coins and 96 coins. So 279 body runes. All right. And Kanchi, you didn't think I could do it a task complete 291 body runes right there what is our next task that you want me to do do the quest fight arena oh Kazard hits nine bouncer hits 13s guys we can do this all right pro strat if if the way is blocked we can just de-aggro here by sitting here for 15 minutes. Eventually, we had enough GP to restock our fire strikes. Kanchi, you think we have pretty good chances with Fight Arena? No. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're in the, uh, we're in a scary situation. Run, run. Oh, he got a zero, just like Slayer Music. Got another zero, just like Slayer Music. All right, we're good to go once again. Guys, I'm almost done with this quest. This was way uh, less dramatic than I thought it was. We're gonna walk a little bit backwards, just like Slayer Music did not do, and he got smacked for a nine. Look at us, look at us. This is the end of Fight Arena. Guys, I didn't eat a single piece of food in that quest, and I used about 65 casts, 30 attack, 14 thieving. What's the next optimal option for Iconch? Train your cooking for two levels. Um. Currently, we're level locked. That means that normally if you're going to train some cooking levels on an Iron Man, you, you'd go fish or something, right? We're going to go to Lumbridge and pick some wheat, grind up some flour, get some buckets of water, and make a bunch of bread. Because that way, we don't train any other levels other than cooking. Level 7 for baked potato! That might be the way to go. Oh, potato seed! We can keep that. This cooking task was way easier than I ever thought that it was going to be. This is now footage that's in the video. Get 20 equal leaves. Equa leaves? Oh, equa leaves. That's what they are right here. Value equa leaves. They're two coins each by 10 and task complete. Da ding Kanchi, uh, what's next? What do you think we should do next? Train your cooking for two levels. Oh boy, Kanchi, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Pour the mix. Hey, 40 experience. That is level 16 cooking. What's next on the menu? Hey, cooking pun. Kill a ghoul. Kill a ghoul? It's a diary task. Oh, and get the recording on. Hey, we're gonna beat this task. This was way too easy. <laughs> Are you proud of me, Kanchi? No. <laughs>
So that's it. Will I ever play the Contra count again? I really have no idea, but you can let me know if you like this video. Thanks.